fans and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set. And on the hill in this one, Shane McClanahan. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, seven eleven. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Meadows moving under this one. Makes the catch for the out. Let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like it could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. And that one in the air center field. Kiermaier makes the play, and there's two down. Batting third, the center fielder, Cedric. Two outs, base is empty. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Hits the fence. And that's a two-out double. Throw that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Man in scoring position with two away. Jorge Mateo now. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. And that one is gone. His seventh home run of the season, and that gives him a lead. It's 2 nothing. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Kiermaier has a beat on it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. Baltimore with a two-run shot this inning. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Bottom of the first. And on the hill, Tyler Wells. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled. Batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Lau out of the play, and there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. The old one. fouled off. 
And a pinch. Gonna count one and two. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. The next pitch misses. It's two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. Austin Meadows powers one out of here. His first homer of the year, it's 2-1. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Wander Franco swings through one there. That one down the line. Oh, and it hits the base. Santander picks it up, and no throw. He's into first easily. Here's Mike Zanino. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Franco off of first with two away. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. The Rays creep closer thanks to the homer. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Here at Tropicana Field, Robinson Chirino's now up to hit. And here it comes. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Trying to steal a first pitch strike with the breaking ball right there, but he was all over it in the box. Kind of sets up an interesting at bat the rest of the way. A little chess match here. High fly ball out into left center field. And there's one down. So next to hit for Baltimore, Kelvin Gutierrez. <laughs> High in the air, out to right. A Rosarena under it. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Mancini now. That's out to center field. Kiermaier on the move. Brings it in for the third out. Three up, three down for the Orioles as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Bottom of the inning. Now it's Randy and Rosarena. And he deals. The red. The right swings field. through that. Up the middle. Odor throw to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. Yandy Diaz now. Yandy Diaz. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Manuel Margot up to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And that chance handled. On to first. And that ends the inning. Ray's held in check here. They're down two to one. Top half of the third inning. Anthony Santander at the plate. 
Clanahan back to work. In the air, left side. Meadows settles under this one. Brings it in. One down. Woo, he was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely now, missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And now it's Austin Hayes. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting. The first base. Ryan. Mount Two outs. Base is empty. And here's the first baseman. Ryan Mountcastle. That one is absolutely belted. Way back. Gone. It's really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball, get around it, and hit it with authority to the pull side. Most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field. <laughs> Stepping in, Cedric Mullins. Mullins. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. Out of here! Back to back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. At the plate, Jorge Mateo. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Kiermaier moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 4-1. Set for the bottom of the third. Now here is Brett Phillips. And leading off the wide of the pitch. The third baseman. And a swing and a miss there. Well, the offense has got going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. 0-2 oh, now. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. Second Wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Lau at the plate. First off, bringing it just misses. And the 1 0. -oh. Right through there for a strike. The 1 1. And that's in for a strike. And down on strikes he goes. Out number two. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher now on the same page right Center now. Kevin. Kevin Kiermeyer next to him for the Rays. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. right past him impeccable command in that one three batters three strikeouts that's electric stuff out there on the mound back here at the ballpark new inning getting started and into the box for Baltimore Ruben and Odor Towards right center field. Kiermaier under it. Makes the grab one down. Now batting. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos.
first offering is fouled off. Wind of the pitch. Lays down a bunt to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. The 0 2. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He sends a rocket to left. Third home run of the season. It's 5-1. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And here is Kelvin Gutierrez. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Pulls it in after a long run. And there's two away. Up next for the so now here's the DH, Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. Now a screamer into the outfield. Meadows makes the catch, and that'll do it. Orioles add one on the solo homer. It's now 5-1. And welcome back. Now it's Austin Meadows. Here comes a pitch. For the red. On the ground. Whips it to Mountcastle. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Here's Wander Franco. That one's in there on one. One down, base is empty. Left field. Hayes. Long run. pitch got him two away well I think that's a case of overthinking right there he got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back Zunino the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one the 0-1 and that one is in for a strike it's really trying to stay in on the hands not let him get extended because that's where the potential for me. swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order, go the Rays. They're down here, five to one. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. Line drive, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, no, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Shane McClanahan won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Luis Patino gets the call from the pen. He's been so good against lefties. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Ryan Mountcastle. That one hammered left field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Now it's going to be Cedric Mullins. 
Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, flipped into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. Two down. Rupnet Odor getting ready to hit. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Rupnet Odor takes him deep. Home run number 10 of the year. And they add a couple more. It's 9-1. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Jalen Beeks, he's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And they're starting to run away. It's now 9-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's going to be Randy or Rosarena. The right fielder. Strike one. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one down. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone... You're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. 0-2 as he waves at that one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. <coughs> Margo stands in now and watches strike one. Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. Strikes out the side. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They trail it big. It's 9-1. Back now in Tampa Bay. Top of the sixth inning. Now the third baseman. Kelvin Gutierrez. The pitch. That one ripped. And it's gone. He powers that one out to left. His first homer of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 10-1. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. This one high in the air to left center. Meadows makes the grab, and there's one away. Now that and now the shortstop, Anthony Santander. And he's already singled in this game. That's a laser base hit. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now here is Austin Hayes.
rips that one center field. Can't get there. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Back-to-back -back singles. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. He's already homered twice, the last one back of the fifth. It seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. One run is in. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Jorge Mateo digs in now. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and the lead continues to grow. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Pitching change here, Colin Poche. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. And gone! Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. He swings and fouls one off. ready to work bunting and he pops it up Diaz makes the catch and that'll do it but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice on to the bottom of inning number six you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show Back here at Tropicana Field, John Shabby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Brett Phillips. And the right hater back to work. Rolled over to third, Gutierrez collects it in plenty of time to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Brandon Lau next to him for the Rays. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. In the air, foul off first. Mountcastle puts the squeeze on that one. Two away now. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And first offering is fouled off. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And that's a base hit. Keeps the inning alive, and now Austin Meadows to the plate. Here is Austin Meadows. Swings through that one, 0-1. The two-hole hitter showing so much versatility, understanding the situation, gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh and into the box for Baltimore. Kelvin Gutierrez. And a pitch. That's hard hit in the line. One away. Trey Mancini, the next to hit for the Orioles. Missed to center field. Kiermaier drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And there's two down. Now back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Santander for the fourth time tonight. Out towards.
towards left center. Kiermaier on the move to his right. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That is the inning. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the shortstop. Wander Franco. The wide to kick the pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Sends it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And the batter now, Mike Zunino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Fouled off. He was late. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And that one fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Righty delivers. The punch out there. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. We're at the top of the eight. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. He's got it. One up, one down. And now, Ryan Mountcastle. Swung on, belted. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs, bases empty. But now at the plate, Cedric Mullins. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Lifted in the air, right center field. Kiermaier gets under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. And it's fouled away. Now the 0-1. Late that time, and it's strike two. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injure himself. Marco. Marco in the box again. Takes the strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. Only two now. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayes should have this one. Makes the grab. Two down. Now batting. Brett Phillips now at the plate. Brett. On the ground, right side. Mountcastle to first in time. Out to the pitcher, covering tremendous play to end the inning. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part, but feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even... ...job of hitting that moving target, they're going to be fired up in the dugout. Back here at Tropicana Field, all set to start the ninth in this one. So now the Orioles' cleanup hitter, Jorge Mateo pitch that's 
Bounce towards center. And going back is Kiermaier. Makes the grab one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one now back, no doubt. And next for the Orioles, Rupnet Odor. In the air, out to center. Meadows makes the catch. Two down. Now that Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. He's already homered here in this one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kiermaier makes the catch, and that'll do it. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, two up. Baltimore out front, 15. Back now in Tampa Bay. Last chance for the home team. Now up for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. Second base. There's a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And they get the leadoff man of the night. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boo. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Austin Meadows now. And first offering is fouled off. Kiermaier, the base runner at first with one out. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed. That's one. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. The 15-1 final score in this one as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.